Hello and welcome to another Hornby Magazine video. Today we have another product launch and it's the Oxford Rail uh, 2020 launch. That's right, yeah, it, uh, it took place on January 21st at the London Toy Fair, that was at uh, the uh, Kensington Olympia, uh, and we were down there to meet Scott and mm -hmm. the Oxford Rail team uh, and to catch up on all the new uh, new products they've got coming up in 2020. So, yes, so we're going to take you through all those now, so. Should be fun. Yeah, absolutely. So. Right, so let's start with steam locos. We've got a, a nice handful of them. That's right, yeah, well, well Oxford Rail, they've, they've built quite a nice reputation now. They've done five, well, this, this year will be their fifth steam loco they're announcing. So they started off with the Adams Rail 44T tank, uh, then they followed that with the Dean Goods uh, 060 for the Great Western. Uh, then they did the, uh, the most recent is the N7 062 tank, which we, we've videoed a couple of issues back with uh, Zimmo Sound in it mm -hmm. as well. Uh, and then, as you know, from last year's catalogue, they're working on the LNER J27 060 as well. Uh, and this year they're adding to that LNER theme as well, so they're doing the J26 060, uh, which is basically it's, it's a slightly earlier version of the J27. Uh, they were introduced in 1904, uh, and the last one was withdrawn in 1962, and they spent pretty much their entire life on the northeastern region of, of, of British Railways. Um, and prior to British Railways, they worked for the LNER in the northeastern region as well. So. Proper locos. Yes, nice little freight locos. And they've got a few little differences to the J27, but they are very closely related as well. Um, so the J26, it had a slightly lower pitch to its boiler. Um, because the J27 had a bigger firebox, which meant it sat a bit higher in the in the frames, uh, and the J26 also didn't have uh, a balance weight on the centre driving axle. Um, and that was because it wasn't designed to run quite as fast as the J27. So. Uh, but otherwise, they're very family orientated locos. When I did, when I saw them first, I didn't think it was the same one. But <laughs> yes, they are, they are. I mean, they are very very similar. I mean, those that era of, of locomotive design, things really were progressions of each other. Um, you know, the J26, the J27, they go hand in hand, but from a northeastern modeler's point of view, it's another useful addition. You know, it goes well with the Hornby Q6, it goes well with um, we've got the northeastern loco as well, like the J72 from, from Backman as well. Um, there's a couple of other things as well that are available ready to run, which you can use on the northeastern region now. So. Price wise, we're expecting the non sound fitted version to be £109, £109.99 yep, that kind 100, of price. Yeah, £109.95 is what the quote is at the moment. So. And you can have them sound fitted for another £100, pretty much. That's right, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's factory sound from Oxford Rail as well. And we are expecting them quarter three, 2020. Yes, that's right. That's, that's what they've what they've proposed. Uh, and that will be following on from the J27, which uh, whilst we're down in London Toy Fair, uh, Scott said they were working towards sort of a, a mid-2020 mid release for the J27 at this point. So. Uh, he's just waiting on some final decorated samples uh, and then to move those through into the final stages of production then so nice yeah so, and there's uh there's one other steam loco to mention this year as well Ooh. they've uh, i didn't actually mention this a couple of months ago actually but they're they're doing another version of the n7 as well uh this one's coming out as 69670 in br black with late crests on the boil on the tank sides um and that's coming out just with a sound fitted version actually interestingly so um but again the n7's a lovely little loco it nice is model, so yeah that'll go down well when it's here and that's coming out for two hundred and nineteen pounds. That's right. Um, there or thereabouts, um, and it doesn't have a release date. It doesn't as present. yet. No, as but yet. I, I would expect we'll see that during twenty twenty. So yeah. they've got the end, the first N seven, so they're bound to have it ready to go. Exactly. Yeah. So, but another BR N seven. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah. You know, everyone needs more BR N sevens. Means it's a nice little loco. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So I mean, that is it's quite a small range in terms of, of steam locomotive announcements, but we can go on to talk about uh, the other elements that are also adding to their range as well now. So. Yeah, so, as we say, a small range, but I suppose they handle what they can manage, I suppose. That's right, and I think it's, it's, it's wise decisions from their point of view. They're keeping a, a control over what the size of the range is. Um, if, you've, if you've got a copy of their latest catalogue, actually there's quite a lot in there as well. Um, and there's a lot of stock items, again, that are available um, through, their, through their retailers. I mean, there's lots of open wagons, for example. Um, they've got some really nice brake vans in there. They've done the, uh, the Great Western, some of the early Great Western Toads, uh, which includes the six-wheeled the six version as well. Um, again, different things, just give a little more character to a goods train as well. Um, and they've got the, uh, there's a, uh, an LDR cattle wagon in there as well, um, some North British four plank wagons, yeah, plenty of things to keep us going as well. So. I suppose on that note, we should move on to freight. Yes, definitely. A 
two new freight wagons this year. Um, first is a Great Eastern Railway 10 ton vent van. Um, another nice vehicle we can add to freight trains when no one can ever have enough uh, covered vent vans for, for, for a freight train. Um, I've lost count of the number of vent vans I've got. You do have various, a lot. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's probably at least 30 or 40 of them in Dublin. So. <laughs> and there's lots of different ones in there as well. Because I mean, one of the really nice things about a vent van train as well is even a block formation, you wouldn't just have the same kind of van all coupled together. So you wouldn't have a whole rake of 25 BR 12 ton vent vans. You'd have BR ones, X Great Western ones, have some LNR ones, you might have some XLMS ones. And one of the characters I really like about those vent van trains is all those vans had slightly different roof profiles, slightly different heights. So as you look on the train, it's got this kind of stepped effect where you're following the, the different heights of different vehicles. And it's, uh, so again, that would add quite nicely to that. So. Must be a nightmare to do the tooling for all those. Yes. So yeah. we should be seeing that for around 14.95 at full RRP. Um, and that's due in quarter one of 2021. So we have gone a bit bit further in the future. But. Yes, well, it's, it's early days for that wagon. I think it's a, it's a brand new project. I know, um, again, Scott mentioned to he's working on the CAD design for that at the moment. Um, obviously, from that point through to actually delivering a product, there's quite a lot of stages to go through. So, uh, but, you know, they'll, we'll keep you posted on that and keep up to date with what uh, Oxrail are doing on that wagon as well. So. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, definitely. Right, next. Right, so next in the, um, the freight stock line is a Pilchard. Um, and this is one of the British Railways engineering wagons. Uh, all the engineering stock had uh, fish kind names. So we had like dogfish and catfish, uh, there were grampus, turbot, uh, salmon, all kinds of fish. Uh, and the Pilchard, they were introduced in 1951. Uh, it was a small batch of 50 wagons. They were designed for carrying uh, ballast and sleepers. Um, the last were drawn in the 1980s from what our research shows. Uh, and Oxford Rail is currently working on CAD development for that as well. So uh, it's quite a nice, nice bogey wagon as well. So it gives something different to go into a, a, an engineering train. So. You mean a nice little diorama on one as well? Yeah, that's right. Well, with actually, some yeah. ballast and sleepers. Yeah, that's and right, yeah. I mean, it, it's quite a nice thing to do with some of these open wagons. I've just been doing it with a couple of okay grandpas actually, where you put a couple of spare sleepers in there, a couple of spare, spare bits of ballast in the corners, just adds a bit of character to the base of a wagon. So there's definitely plenty of modeling potential with those as well. Uh, and they were like, quite a low, um, low sided wagon but with drop sides. Um, for access for materials that were on board. And again, I suppose not too expensive, 14.95 yeah. is the uh, suggested R recommended RRP, I should say. That's right. um, and it does have a quarter one 2020, however that may change. Yes, that's right, yeah, in terms yeah. of the release date, yeah. Because that's quite soon. <laughs> it is, yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, you, you've got, only got one livery choice on these at the moment, and that's uh, BR Black ones. Uh, they're coming out with two different engineering numbers on them, uh, so you'll have the option to buy two different number vehicles. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a bit of choice there on the culture and plenty of option for the future for them as well with those. So. Right, so next on the agenda, we have another crane. Yes, absolutely. It's a good topic lately. Yep. You know, the Batman crane has gone down very well. It's been mixed reactions over the price. Uh, but we've got... Uh, the answer. Uh, yeah, they've got the answer, yeah. Um, Oxford Rail is going to be making a Cowan Shell 15 tonne crane, uh, which uh, they were introduced in the 1890s from the information we've got. Uh, and they're going to cover both what they're calling a Mark 1 and a Mark 2 design. Um, I don't know the specifics of the difference between those, those two designs, uh, but we do know they're going to be doing them for uh, different railway companies, I believe. So there'll be different, different liveries on those. Um, so at the moment, from what we can see, we've got a, uh, a BR era one for Stoke MPD. Uh, we've got a uh, LMS period one for Wellingborough. Uh, those are both on the Mark One version, and then on the Mark Two version, we've got a BR Stuart Lane one, so a nice southern region crane there, uh, and then uh, LNER one uh, for some lettered for Sunderland. Um, now, one of the things Oxrail did mention about these, they are just doing the crane itself rather than the crane with the match wagon. And the reason they explained to us uh, that that was the case is because these ran with different vehicles as their match wagon. So they didn't have a specific design of match wagon to suit these Cowan Sheldon 15 ton cranes. Um, so it's things like, for example, their, 50, their um, five plank open wagon could be used with it. Um, and I think Scott mentioned nice as well. Yeah. yeah, so it gives you a bit of option of variety of how you can marshal these into a train. Uh, and Scott did also mention they're going to make a, a jib support which you can put into a wagon as well. And that will come with the crane set. So. All right, that's handy. So, yeah, so there are, again, it gives you ways of using other existing vehicles to use for work, work with the crane. So. so the big question is, is it going to be functional like other cranes? Well, that, that was one thing he wasn't clear about either at this point. I say, I think, again, it's early days with this product. I mean, looking at a 2021 release for this, this Karen Sheldon crane. Um, price is also uh, to be advised as well. Um, so we've got a few details to iron out on this model, but it's coming, it's going to be made. It's going to be quite different to the uh, um, the previous versions we've seen from Batman as well. So, mm. so I think the quote on the regarding the price 
is it's going to be around the price of the Canon. Uh, yes, right, yeah, that's, he did mention that. So the Bosch Buster Maybe. Railgun, uh, it was talking about £50 pound for, yeah. for a retail price on that. Then looking at that kind of price, um, like I say, it is early days on this project from what Scott's explained to us, uh, and we are expecting some, some more information to come through on this in the meantime. So. I think a lot can change, but I don't think it'll be the price of other cranes no, on the market. that's right, definitely. Not. I mean, they're, they're definitely working to a lower price point than, yeah. than the back one be, so, yeah. So, the world is your oyster. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you posted on that in the magazine and keep an eye on the website as well. As soon as Oxford tells us more information about that, we'll, we'll put that on, in, on for you as well. So. Okay, so that, that concludes um, the new tooling for the wagons for 2020 from Oxford Rail, but they are adding, uh, they did mention another version of their 14 tonne tank, which is going to come during 2020. Uh, they're doing a BP livery version uh, as number 1061. Uh, and that's going to cost £18.95 and is due in the fourth quarter of 2020 as, as things stand. So, oh. uh, just a small addition to their existing range. And uh, those 14 ton tankers, they're, they're a brand new tool anyway. Uh, and I believe they're due out in the next few months. From Oxford, it's going to be quite a nice collection of those when they come out. Yes, that's right. Well, yeah. Nice colourful liveries as well. Again, so good to make up your private owner trains. And some of those did run over into the BR era as well. So Nice way to brighten up anyone's layout. That's right, exactly. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Yeah, so that concludes the wagons from Oxford. Right, so moving on to coaches. Um, no new tooling, however, we have a re-livery and we're getting some Mark 3A Virgin liveried coaches. Um, they're coming in first open, we've got a restaurant car and second open. And of course, they're due at some point in 2020, so they could land at any moment. And they're due to be the usual price of 37.99, I believe. That's right, yeah. So we, we haven't got a firm release date on those at the moment, but as, again, as soon as we've got the information, we'll make sure we get that out into the market as well. Oxford so. are going to surprise us. Yes, that's right, yeah. yeah. Again, you know, going on the past deliveries of the, uh, the Mark 3s as well, they're looking good in terms of the pre-production samples we've seen photographs of. So yeah, we're looking forward to seeing those and fit nice on West Coast cement as well. They will. Yeah. And we've got a uh, Virgin Livered 87 as well. We have, we? yeah. Yeah, under 90, so we've got perfect traction for them. So, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Looking What's forward the space? to seeing those. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so on to the next section. So uh, as well as Oxford Rail announcing its 2020 products, uh, Oxford Diecast uh, released uh, its list of new vehicles for the coming year as well. Makes sense. Um, so we've got a, mainly a collection of 176 vehicles uh, and we've got a few new additions to their 187th uh, American cars range as well. Um, so we'll start off with 176 cars. Um, so um, new in for 2020 is going to do uh, an Invercar uh, in pale blue and that's going to cost £6.45. Uh, a bit more modern, they're going to do both the Jaguar E-Pace and the Jaguar I-Pace, which are two new vehicles in the Jaguar family. I think they came out in 2019 or 2018. Uh, they're £6.95 each. Um, I'm quite excited by this one, actually. I, I really would have quite liked one of these, but they're quite expensive to buy as a new car. Um, they're doing the new Defender, um, so they're doing that in both the 90 and the 110 version. You can um, have the model. I'll, I'll, ha I'll have the model because that costs seven pound ninety five. You can get permission off the other half for the yeah, model. Yeah, I can get permission for the for the new Defender in four millimeter scale. Yeah, um, and then they're also doing um, a scooter as well. Which I think it's quite a nice little addition. So perfect to go in front of your stations, and it's a nineteen fifties kind of style scooter as well. So nice little model there as well. And um, those are all uh, with looking at quarter four twenty twenty for the releases on those. Um, in the Oxford commercials range, they're adding the AEC six ninety, uh, which is uh, like a, a, a bonneted. Uh, truck, uh, and they're doing that in both a dumper truck and a cement truck version, uh, and those are coming in at twenty one pound ninety five each. Um, the cement body of the vehicle actually quite a nice one, I think, actually with the with the cement mix on the back. So uh, there's those two to look forward to, uh, and then in the military range they're doing uh, an Austin Champ, uh, and that's coming out at six pound ninety five. And again, both the AEC six ninety and the Austin Champ they're all slated again for uh, tw fourth quarter of twenty twenty for release. Okay, and then we're going to round off on the uh, the new vehicles for Doctor Diecast in this this first round of releases from them for 2020. They're doing uh, four new additions to their 187th scale, so HO scale uh, American cars range. Um, they're being built on this quite nicely, so I think it's been quite successful for them. Um, lots of nice vehicles from the American designs of the, of the 50s, and these are all well, the 1940s and 1950s vehicles. So the, there's a Buick Century Estate from 1954 for £6.95. Uh, they're going to do a Chrysler Woody Wagon from 1942, same price on that one as well. Uh, doing a Dodge B1B pickup from 1948, uh, and they're doing an Imperial Crown two-door hardtop as well, uh, and that's coming in uh, as a 1959 car for £6.95. Um, it's a nice little range of vehicles for the US modelers, or if you're just into collecting your American cars as well. So. Then you get away with the uh, 187 scale on a double O layout. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, to a point. Yeah, I mean, there's a few vehicles you'll see on our layouts when we're out at shows, which are 187 scale. Sometimes you just put them a little bit further back towards the back yeah. of the layout and they fit in quite nicely. So, yeah. 
So quite a nice selection, really. That's right, yeah. So plenty yeah. to look forward to there. And as well as all those, there's a whole list of new releases on the existing tooling as well. Um, so there's new vehicle, new cars, new uh, buses, there's a couple of new lorries in there as well. Um, so plenty of things to look forward to in Oxford Diecast in the coming months. So. Everyone needs a new vehicle. Absolutely. You can never have enough. Technically, no. <laughs> I think my layout's full of vans at the moment. <laughs> need more cars. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> it's interesting, actually, because with, with like a, a 1990s layout or later one like, like yours, actually traffic's really important in that yeah. situation. Whereas like in a 1960s situation, actually, you need a lot less because there weren't as many on the roads then. It's, uh, I mean, I've, I've weighed over and on Oxford di diecast vehicles over the years. It's, uh, you know, sometimes we can really fill the streets when we don't need to. So. It's such a viable, such an easy pickup purchase. That's right, yeah. When yeah. you see them at the stalls. Yeah. That's right. Good prices on them, good quality products, well done. Always nice liveries as well. So, yeah, lots of choices to come. All right, so that concludes our look at the Oxford Rail and Oxford Diecast uh, ranges for 2020. Um, we've got more on that coming up in the March dated issue of Hornby Magazine, which is on sale on February the 6th. So that's, that's coming up soon. Very soon. And don't forget, you can subscribe to the Hornby Magazine channel if you don't already, just down below, to see more content, including a layout update, which is coming yeah. next, I believe. That's right, yeah, it's coming soon. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching, as ever. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye.